What's going on, everybody? My name is Chris the Chaos Gamer, and welcome back to another Draft League video. I am your coach for the St. John Sharpedos, and today we are fighting Thunder of the uh, Minnesota. <laughs> Minnesota Hyperfangs. Don't know why I forgot his team name there for a second. Uh, so this is week six of season three, and I've decided that I'm going to take a little bit of a different approach to this game. Um, I know the last two games I was really offensive, but um, this this week I'm trying something a little bit different. I'm going to go a little bit more, slightly more off, uh, defensive this time. But I do have a couple of um, I do have a couple of um, glass cannons on there. So our uh, a glass cannon, I should say, on the team this week. So hopefully, 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 uh, we can get another win out of this. This would be this would be our third win straight straight win if we win this time. So I'm hoping we can get something out of this. Anyway. Uh, if you guys are excited, the Draft League battles are here on the channel. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up uh, and subscribe to the channel because your support is greatly appreciated. And so let's get started. So first, as always, when I, whenever I do my team recaps, I always put the PokePace link in the description below this video so that then you guys can take a, uh, take a full look at what sets I'm running. And uh, if you guys have any uh, any pointers, or if you guys want to use the team for yourself and do you know uh, offline mock battles of your of your own and all that good wonderful stuff, you can. Um, so also before we do the uh, before before we do the team for this week, um, I just want to say that we did make a free agency trade. There was one mod, uh, there was one Pokemon that I never used so far the uh, so far this season. Like we are now halfway through. After this battle, we are officially done with half of our battles. And one Pokemon in particular I did not use at all, and that was Venusaur. Um, Venusaur, I decided to get rid of him and went with uh, Rotom Mo instead. So we may or may not we may get we may get to see him for the uh, for the rest of the six weeks because he's not actually on the he's actually not one of the six that I picked this week but we may see him next week we may see it we may see him uh, for the other six matches so anyway let's get started first we have Clad our Swampert holding the leftovers with Stealth Rock Aqua Tail Earthquake and Counter now I know last week. I use counter on Manaphy, <laughs> and I don't, I honestly have no idea what I was thinking, um, but it's a thing that happened. I still came out with a, I still came out with a win, don't, but huge misplay there. Uh, so, <laughs> gotta remember, counters for physical attacks, not special. Uh, next is Flubber or Gudra holding the Choice Scarf with uh, Ice Beam, Draco Meteor, Thunderbolt, and Sludge Wave. Um, I got Gudra because um, with the amount of speed that I gave him, which you'll see in the Pokepace link, um, he can outspeed everybody uh, except for Excelgore, but I think I did it in such a way that it outspeeds Tornadus. Uh, at, at least as far as his Tornadus. Um, so, we'll see. Next is Robin our Thunderous holding the Life Orb with HP Ice, Thunderbolt, Nasty Plot, and Focus Blast. Typical Life Orb set for him um, because he's definitely going to be doing the... Uh, I feel he's going to be doing most of the killing. Uh, and then Gudra and Swampert is going to back him up. Next is Scottsburn our Mill Tank holding the Leftovers with Body Slam, Toxic, Earthquake, and Milk Drink. Originally I did give him Stealth Rock over Body Slam. And having only one attacking move on him, being only ground, um, didn't exactly seem right. So I decided against that after and put Body Slam on. That's why Swampert has Stealth Rocks. Next is Petrie, our Archaeops holding the Power Herb with Sky Attack, Roost, Acrobatics, and U-Turn. 
that remember the glass can I said earlier that's exactly it the power of uh, the format that we play um, uh, we had an issue with uh, uh, because normally we play in costume game and normally uh, costume game was going fine but we had an issue in which uh, we had to change the format in which we played our battles in showdown and the, the particular format that we went with now denies me of using flying uh, flying gem acrobatics so to compensate for that I now have power herb sky attack uh, so that then have one basically nuke and then the rest would just be acrobatics the whole way through and last but not least we got buzz buzz our mega scissor uh, with sword stance bullet punch knockoff and roost Again, um, he doesn't really have a fire type. If I remember his team correctly, he doesn't really have a fire type. So, uh, Buzz Buzz, sh or Scizor, should be able to take most of the hits. Um, and, uh, um, so yeah, hopefully we can get a win out of this. Um, and actually, one change I am going to make right now, instead of, um, actually no, I'm not going to make a change. I was originally, I was thinking about putting U-Turn on Scizor for his Uxie, but I don't think Uxie can really do all that much. So that's the team for this week, and I'm going to go and see if Thunder is ready, and yeah, so I will see you guys once we... When, once we get to the battle, and I will see you guys soon. Okay, I guess no music. And we're here. Okay. Alright, well, let me send the message to Thunder saying good luck. Good game. Have good luck. Have fun. Okay. Um. Pangoro, Delamy, uh, Mega Charizard, I knew. Coco, I knew. Tornadus, I knew. He didn't bring Landorus. Okay, he didn't bring Landorus. Excelgore he brought. Um, let me go to my calculator. He did not bring Landorus. I was half expecting him to bring it. But I guess not. Um, I'm going to start with Clad, I guess. Start with Swampert. Okay, he starts off with Excelgore. Oh, it's not good. Um, if he uses Energy Ball, it's done. Oh my god. The only thing I can see myself doing is going out in the mill tank or maybe even Scizor? If he, if he misses the Focus Blast, if I go out into Scizor. Um, I'm gonna start by going into Scizor. U-turn. Okay. Okay. Who are you going into? <sighs> oh, I'm gonna change this to ignore specs. Uh, who are you going out to? And I keep forgetting to change my little avatar, my little avatar thing too. <laughs> okay. Um, so I gotta make sure what he's gonna do. Um, he didn't bring. He didn't bring. If he goes into Charizard. If he goes in the Charizard, I definitely got to switch. Um, if he goes into Delmys, Delmys can't really do much. Oh, Tornadus. He could have Heat Wave. And that would hurt a lot. 
Um... I think I built Mill Tank specifically so that he could survive. Um, or if I go out into Swampert, actually, what about Gudra? Because I built Gudra specifically so that he can outspeed. More than likely, he's probably going to hit Heat Wave, so I'm actually going to go out into Gudra. HP. I did find out what time of HP that is now. Um, I could hit the big button. Show him that I'm scarfed. Well, e either which way, if I attack, I'm going to show him that I'm scarfed anyway. Let's hit the button. Wait. He could go out into Coco. If he goes out, if he goes into, if he goes out into Coco, Sludge Wave would be the best option. Um. I have. A f Is he going to switch? If he brings out Coco. Let me just see. If he brings out Coco, it's not going to do anything. I could Ice Beam. At least then it would hit either one of them for pretty hard. He's staying in. What? Wait. What? He thought out immediately. <laughs> okay. So he knocked off my choice scarf. So that, that's that. Um, now with a minus one, with a minus one speed, let me get on the calculator out here. If he's at max speed, and we multiply that by 0 0.67, 236, so I'm still faster. I could theoretically kill him literally right now. Let's do an ice beam. <sighs> With that minus one speed, I should be fat. Yeah, I should be faster. There we go. Woo! Down goes Tornadoes. Okay. think Excelgore is still a problem. He didn't um Coco, I don't have anyone outspeeding Coco. That's the only thing. Um now Clad Swamper is um Swamper should Let me just see. Cuz I don't have my scarfer anymore. If he brings out Coco, the only if he if it's the OU special, earthquake can kill. Um. Okay, Gudra. He's sending out Pangoro. I'll be faster. I could hit the button. Oh wait, if you. Um. Is there a none option? Okay, here we go. None. Um, if he if he uses drain punch or gunk shot, he's uh, I'm dead. Uh, Pangoro. I want to say Scizor would be the best option here. Um, or maybe not. Um, if he uses Drain Pond, let's say Mill Tank. No. Uh, Swampert? 
No. Um. What about Thunderous? Definitely not with Knockoff there. Um. Let me just see. Because I am. I am faster. I could hit the big red. I could hit the big button. Because Gudra pretty much has already done his thing and taken out Tornadus. Um, because Swamper can take out Coco. I just gotta hope I don't miss. If he uses Drain Punch. Actually, if he uses Drain Punch. That would then allow me to send out Petrie. There's a Drain Punch. He's faster? He's scarfed. Uh oh. Um. Uh, okay. If he's scarfed, if he's at two fifteen, is he? If he's at two fifteen and he has scarf, that puts him at three twenty two. So if I send out, if I send out Archeops, I should be faster. Um, Archeops, Sky Attack will kill. Okay. Alright, come on. What are you doing? Come on, hit my, hit. I'm hitting my button, come on. This is, this is gonna kill, I should outspeed. Should out speed. Excelgore. Bye bye. Okay. So now I don't have. So now I don't have my power herb, and now he sends out Coco. Um, if I go to Mill Tank to Toxic the Coco, there's the gra he has Grass Knot. So I know he has Grass Knot. Which dig quite a bit. Um, I could Earthquake start doing some damage. Or I could toxic it. Uh, let's go with an earthquake. Okay. Delnies. Earthquake did 9.2 to 11. Okay, so that should be fine. Um, if this is the, if this is offensive, I should be fine. Oh, I. No, it's definitely the defensive, uh, offensive spinner set. I'm gonna Toxic it. Anchor Shot. Anchor Shot did 30... 39.4. Yeah, that's roughly where I'm thinking. Uh, the only problem is now I'm stuck here. That's the only problem. Oof! Okay. Uh, I think I'm better off just earthquaking at this point. <sighs> what? Okay. There's the power whip, and it's gonna kill me. That's fine. Now the only thing is now he has a two, he has a plus two attack right now. Um, Delmi's is slow. So I could go back into Archeops once I'm actually able to type right. Um, <laughs> yeah, if I Acrobatics, I'm faster. So I could go into Petri and hit Acrobatics and kill him.
Because even if uh, he's not going to be faster anyway, there it is. Okay. Down goes Delamese. Okay. Coco. Coco's back. Now I know he has. Um... Oh my god. Grass Knot. I know he has Grass Knot. Thunderbolt's going to kill. Uh. If I send out Scizor, Grass Knot is not going to do much. Then I can go into Mega? No. Um. I go into Thunderous. It's not. Oh, uh. Electric. Oh, okay. Electric Drain's out. Um. I send out Scizor. I feel like I might not have a choice here. Thunderbolt! What? Wait. Huh? How did it do so much? He's specked, isn't he? If he's specked, then I can go out and then I can go out in the swamper. That's not the swamper set I want. So I okay, so that did forty eight, so it's not the all out attacker set. Maybe it is. I did forty eight percent. Okay, so it's a different kind of set what he's running. I could counter here. There's a drain punch. You're dying, boy. Okay, Pangoro is done. <sighs> okay. Shut up, ambulance. Hopefully that doesn't get picked up. All that's left is Coco and Charizard X. Argument's sake, it ends up being Archaeops against Charizard. Argument's sake, I'm just curious now at this point. If it's the Dragon Dance set, I'll be f I'll be faster. Eh. Let's see what he does. Can't believe. Okay, so I know he's scarf or uh, specked. Coco is specked. Has to be. He wouldn't have been <laughs> unless he was specked. He wouldn't have killed um, Scizor with that thunderbolt. That was crazy. Uh, Thunderous, I think, is faster. Yeah, Thunderous is- okay, so Thunderous is faster than Charizard, except the Flare Blitz would kill me. <sighs> what I should do... Because I still need to set up Stealth Rocks. Still haven't done that yet. Um... So like it's, uh, so it's Spect, instead of HP Ice, it's Grass Knot, that's still against Thunderous, uh, against Swampert, 
grass knot will kill, obviously. 134 to 159. Okay. What are you doing, Thunder? What are you doing? Come on. Coco! Okay, so he's definitely going to use Grass Knot here. Uh, maybe. If he uses Grass Knot... have a feeling that this might be game um i don't want to i don't want to say that quite yet um i'm gonna stealth rock yeah grass knot i figured i figured okay uh <sighs> If I send out Archaeops. Sky attack isn't gonna do anything now. This has gotta be not this has gotta be set to none. Acrobatics will do 38. 38 to 45. I think I think this might be game. So I know he's specced. Yeah, I think this is game. Even if I send out Thunderous, that Thunderbolt's gonna kill. I legitimately think this is game now. Because he's gonna hit Thunderbolt and that's gonna kill me. Send no Charizard. What? I think that might have cost him the game. do that oh wait that's the wrong one okay thunderous Best I got is Thunderbolt. I think he won. Because if he uses Thunderbolt, that's gonna kill. I'm faster now. What? Okay, I don't know what happened there. I don't know how suddenly... I gotta take a look at my 
set again because I'm pretty sure I gave I gave Archeops the most 350 to he went and speed creep my Archeops because I was still faster okay I don't, okay, that's game. Um, okay, so good game to Thunder for... I know we lost. It came close. I don't... That Coco was <laughs> threw me right off. Uh, so, like I said, good game to Thunder. So about halfway through that I won if I got Coco to be... To be an, I don't know what that is. So, good game to Thunder. The link to his channel will be in the description down below. And as like I said before, the uh, the link to the team that I used this week will be in the description down below. And uh, yes, I know we lost, but I think we're now what two and four? Yeah, two and four. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to leave this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel because your support is greatly appreciated. I've been Chris the Chaos Gamer, and I will see you in the next video.